Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 6.2. And number one, we're asked to find the exact value of the following logarithms. So 1a, we have log base 3 of 1 over 81. So this is asking us a question, 3 to what power is 1 over 81? So let's express the right-hand side as a power of 3. Well, 81 is 3 to the 4th power. And I can rewrite that as 3 to the negative 4th power. So by the 1 to 1 property of exponential functions, what I'm after is negative 4. And so that means log base 3 of 80, 1 over 81 is negative 4. Why? Because 3 to the negative 4th power is 1 over 81. Part B, we're asking for log of 0 0.001. Now when you see the log like this floating around, at this level anyway, uh, the assumed base is the common base 10. So this is asking us a question, 10 to what power is 0 0.001? Well, I expressed this as a decimal, or excuse me, or the, expressed the decimal as a power of 10, I'd have to move the decimal point one, two, three times over. So this is the same as 10 to the minus third power. Or if you want, you could write this as a fraction. That's one one thousandth, which you could write as one over 10 to the third. And you would get 10 to the negative third that way as well. Once again, the one to one property of exponentials means that what we're looking for is the negative three. And finally, in part C, we've got the natural log of the square root of e to the fifth. And so we're asking us a question. Um, the base of the natural log is this base e. It's that funny irrational number. We'll talk about more in section 6.5. So this is asking us e to what power is the square root of e to the fifth. So I want to write this as an exponent. Remember, we can write the square root as a one-half power. And when they're arranged this way, I can multiply and get e to the five-halves. So the one-to-one -one property kicks in, and I know that my answer is five-halves. So e to the five-halves power is the same as the square root of e to the fifth. And that'll do it then for number one. All right, number two, we're asked to write this as a single logarithm. So we got a lot of crazy stuff going on here. So I'm going to start. I've got 3 log base 2 of x minus log base 1 half of y plus 2. So when I'm reassembling the logarithms, I'm going to follow the order of operations. So I need to take care of this multiple here first. So I'm you can use properties of logs to bring that exponent back up. Log base 2 of x cubed. Now, I would like to use the quotient rule. If I have a subtraction outside the log, that corresponds to division inside the log. But here's the wrinkle on this one. I've got two different bases. So I can't immediately apply that formula. What I have to do is a change of base. So, how's change of base work? I'm going to have to change everything to the same base. I'm going to change everything to base 2 so we can avoid the fractions. So change of base says, if you've got log base A of C, where that's an inconvenient base, I can rewrite that as log base B of C over log base B of A, where B is a convenient base. So in this particular example, the unfriendly base is base 1 half. And I want to change it to log base 2. All right, so log base 2 of Y over log base 2 of a half. So that's log base 2 of y. 
over log base 2 and a half. So what's log base 2 of a half? 2 to what power is a half? Well, a half is 2 to the minus 1 power, so what we're looking for there is minus 1. So log base 1 half of y works out to be negative log base 2 of y. So when I go back to continue my assembly here, Those two negatives cancel out. Okay, so these are equalities all the way down here. So now I just have to finish this off. All right, so let's continue over here then. So now I've rewritten everything in these first two terms in terms of uh, log base 2. So I can use the product rule. Addition on the outside corresponds to multiplication on the inside. So I'm going to multiply the x cubed and the y together, plus 2. And now I'm back to the same problem I had before. I want to combine these using the product rule again, but I need to write this as log base 2 of something. So here what we can do is use the um, inverse properties. I know that. I can rewrite any number x as log base 2 of 2 to the x. Right? That's the inverse property of these guys. So what do I do? Is I'm going to rewrite that 2 as plus log base 2 of 2 squared. So I've got log base 2 of x cubed y plus log base 2 of 4. Addition on the outside corresponds to multiplication on the inside, and so I get log base 2 of 4x cubed y. Um, now the viewer is, in or is uh, encouraged to start with this answer, use the properties of logs, and bust it up to see if you can get it back to look like the original. That'll do it for Checkpoint Quiz 6.2.